Let's tag some pipe. What I'd like to do is jump into our plumbing project 10. And in the project browser, I'm going to scroll down till I find enlarged mechanical room. First thing I want to do is on my quick access toolbar, I'm going to click on my tag by category button. And we might as well tackle pipe first. So I'm going to hover over my pipe. I'm going to put my tag right in it. I'm going to hit escape a couple times. Now that's a big tag. A couple things I want to do. First, let's mess with the settings. So I want to go to my systems tab. And on my plumbing and piping panel, I have my mechanical settings button right here. I'm going to click it. Now the first thing I want to do is I want to get rid of my pipe size suffix. I've never seen a square pipe, so I can get rid of the diameter sign. I'm going to click OK. I'm going to select my 50 millimeter pipe. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click on Edit Family. I'm going to click where it says Size. I'm going to click on Edit Label. And everything looks good here, so I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to go to Edit Type. I'm going to change my width factor to 0.8. Click Apply. Click OK. Hit Escape. Let's click Load into Project, and I'm going to overwrite the existing version. Now if I select my tag again, click on Edit Type, and I can either add a leader arrowhead or not. If the tag's too big to fit in the pipe, I can add an arrowhead. I'm going to hit Cancel. I'm going to hit Escape a couple times. Now I want to tag some equipment, so I'm going to click on my Tag by Category button. This time I want to have a leader, and I want it to be a free end. So I'm going to click right here, click here. I'm going to pick a point here and hit Escape. Not a big fan, so I'm going to select it. First of all, I don't like the box, so I'll go Standard. I want to click on Edit Type, and I want to have a leader arrowhead. Arrow filled 15 degrees is what I like. Click Apply, click OK. I don't like the number, so I'm going to click on the number 2. I'm going to call it capital P hyphen 1. Hit Enter, hit Escape a couple times, now it's tagged. Select my tag again, right click, create similar. I'm going to come down to here, good point here, good point here, come over to here. I'm going to select my tag, click on Edit Type, everything looks good, hit Cancel, I'm going to call this B1, B hyphen 1. I'm going to hit enter. Boiler number 1. One thing I can do if, suppose I want to tag a system. So I'm going to select this pipe. And remember, we have this on a gas system. So what I want to do is I want to go to my piping systems and I want to double click on gas. In my abbreviation right here, I'm going to type in G-A-S. I'm going to click Apply. I'm going to click OK. Hit Escape a couple times. Now, I'm going to click on my Tag by Category. I'm going to hover over here. I'm going to uncheck Leader. I'm just going to plop that right in the middle of that. But I want a different tag type, so I'm going to select my 15 millimeter tag. I'm going to click Edit Family. I'm going to go Save As, Family. I'm going to browse to where I'm keeping my exercise files. And instead of Pipe Size Tag, I'm going to call it Pipe System Tag. I'm going to go to my Options, make sure I'm only saving one, and I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to hit Save. Now I'm going to select my Size. I'm going to click on Edit label. For my size, I'm going to get rid of that. But now in my family parameters, I'm going to scroll down till I find system abbreviation. It's right here. I'm going to click on add parameter. My sample value, that's a little big. So I'm just going to type in gas. Click OK. I'm going to load this into the project. The orientation of the 3D view must be locked. That's OK. I didn't ask them to go to a 3D view. Sometimes they do that. In the project browser, let's go back down to Enlarged Mechanical Room. Select your 15 millimeter. Click the drop down. Let's go Pipe System Tag. 
and it's gas. Now what happens if you want to tag something right out of the gate, I'm going to click on tag by category and it's going to be gas. Now we can click the tags button here and you can scroll down to pipe tags and you can change whatever you want during that placement. So I'm going to hit cancel here. So it put it as a default, but I can change it to anything I want. I can go piping system abbreviation tag, whatever I want to do. Hit OK. It's going to be gas. Looks like there's already one loaded, but that's OK. Now we know how to make one. So that's how you tag stuff.